So you're here because you are trying to figure out how to get more people to your webinar so you can make them the offer and ultimately make more money. All right, I am gonna go through my top six ways to get more people onto your webinar. Before we jump into it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss a video that will make you more money. And while you're down there, you can grab my free course on webinars, five worksheets and five videos that will get you started on your road to success. All right, so let's jump into it. A few months ago, I had a client who came to me and she was getting about a 12 to 15% show up rate on her webinar. This is after running a ton of Facebook and YouTube ads. Uh, her opt-in was somewhere around $13 per person. Uh, the problem is that she had such a low show up rate. It was just over 10%. Um, it's very hard to make money when no one shows up. So what was the biggest thing that was holding her back? Well, we made a couple changes. I'm going to go through what they are with you in this video. And we got her show up rate to just over 30%. It was about 32% over the last three live webinars that we did with her. Um, these tips and tricks work whether it is live or an evergreen autoplay webinar. I'm gonna go through the three first ones, work whether it is either one. The second three are more for live, but there are some things in there that will help you as well. So let's jump into it. The first one is raw curiosity. You have to have a headline and copy that creates open loops and gets people really curious about what you are teaching them on the webinar. If they think they can solve the challenge, like, let's say your headline is on weight loss, right? If you have a headline that says, you know, the key to weight loss is through a ketogenic diet where you eat bacon and steaks and fat all day, tune into this free webinar to learn how to do it. Well, you just gave away everything in the headline. So yeah, that headline is obviously, I'm blowing it out of proportion a little bit, but you want it to invoke raw curiosity so people have this burning itch and they're like, I have to know the answer so that they tune in. So a better headline for that might be the new diet craze that is sweeping the nation and helping people lose 30 pounds in 30 days, right? That's a whole lot better, has a whole lot of raw curiosity and has people guessing what it may be. The number two way to get more people onto your webinar, especially if it is live, is sending them testimonials. Usually you have about a three day window leading up to the webinar. So you wanna send them testimonials that do not give away what you're teaching on the webinar, but show phenomenal outcomes. Show people saying, I learned stuff on this webinar that no one else is talking about. This helps build the hype and build the curiosity to get people onto your webinar. So even if you are running an auto webinar, you can use this. It works better with live, but if you're running an auto webinar and people opt in, but they don't finish or they only watch a minute or two, if you send them testimonials that show them what they're missing, they will have to go back and watch it. This is one of the biggest ways to grow curiosity on your webinar and get more people showing up and watching all the way through. Now, the third tip we talked about in both one and two, but it is creating open loops. Open loops are slightly different than curiosity. What you wanna do in an open loop is talk about something and then say, you know, we'll get to that in the webinar. So in your copy or in your ads, you might want to say something along the lines of, we're going to go over the three biggest mistakes that people make when trying this diet and how to avoid them. We're going to cover the number one biggest key to success when going on a diet this New Year's, right? So that creates curiosity, but you see how that's an open loop. It's a little bit different than just raw curiosity. You say, we're going to cover, you're going to see. You're saying we are going to go over it in the webinar. You can do this in your copy, you can do this in your ads, you can do this in your videos. If you notice at the start of this video, I did it three times because I wanted you to see how it works. Those are the first three tips that work whether it is live or evergreen. The next three tips are specifically for live webinars that have a start date and time. So the first one is you should always be getting a phone number and be using a text messaging service to send text messages. So we added this to my client's opt-in page and by adding it about 50% of the people gave us their phone number, just over 
No, we did not make it mandatory. What we said was if you would like a reminder of when the webinar takes place and would like it delivered to your phone, enter your phone number, we'll be happy to text you. More than 50% of the people gave us their phone number. What this led to was a higher show up rate because people got the text, even if they were out doing something or they were on their couch, they might not be checking their email, but they got the text message with a link to the webinar when it was going live. The second thing is kind of a no-brainer, but for some reason, a lot of people miss it. And this is you want the window from when they opt in to when the webinar starts to be as short as possible. One of my clients came to me and said, you know, I get great opt-in rates, but no one's showing up. Well, she was running her ads 10 days out. As soon as we cut that period in half, we cut that down to four days, and we spent the same amount of money on ad spend, her show up rate went up drastically. Just because people, it's more top of mind, right? People are thinking about, they're like, they still have that burning question, that curiosity that they need answered, and they remember and show up. I recommend three to four days maximum in your ads window. The last thing that I feel drives more people to your webinar than anything else is using a warm list. So it actually works better if you drive them to a lead magnet, get them warmed up a little bit, and then put them into your webinar. The other thing that works is using other people's lists. If you have people who vouch for you, good people that have great warm lists, and they're willing to vouch for you, it is actually better to spend money to mail to their list, have them say, this person's amazing. Steve is awesome. You have to go check out his webinar. By doing that, you are actually going to up your show up rate because the people that are opting in for it know, like, and trust the influencer who is recommending you, and they want the outcome that you have. This is a lot better than a cold ad. These lists can be called solo ads. Uh, they can be called JV partnerships. There are a couple different ways that they go about. Sometimes they'll be free. Most of the time they cost money though, and there's nothing wrong with spending money on it because ad dollars spent here will actually show a lower cost per opt-in with a higher show up rate. So those are the six things that I feel will help get more people onto your webinar and help you make more money in your webinar. Do you have questions on this? If so, leave them in the comments down below. I will be happy to respond to you, help you out however I can. While you're down there, you can grab my free webinar course, five videos and five worksheets to get you started with webinars. If you know you need a webinar and you want my help, reach out to me. I'll show you what it would look like to work with you. We would build your webinar from scratch. We build the webinar funnel, the webinar deck, the webinar ads, the webinar follow-up sequence, everything that you need for a highly converting webinar. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss a video that makes you money. And until next time, take action, change lives, and make money. I'll see you soon.